Hello and welcome to another video from Minus Touch Toys Games Collectibles. And today we are looking at a very old annual indeed. We are looking at the 1976 Doctor Who annual, which starred Tom Baker as the Doctor. And this was the very first annual to feature the fourth Doctor. Um, okay, and it was released in late 1975 for the upcoming 1976 year. Okay, so this is the annual in front of us. This is the front cover, and it says the Doctor Who annual, 1976, starring Tom Baker as Doctor Who. And it's got authorised edition as seen on BBC TV, and there you can see an image of Tom Baker as a fourth Doctor as he appeared in the first television story um, robot, his first television serial robot. Okay, so that's the front of the annual. Let's just turn it over to the back. Um, not a great deal to see on the back. You've got the outer image of the TARDIS. Um, there you can see the Doctor in Bessie. And again, that's from uh, uh, taken from the TV episode Robot. It says the Doctor Who Annual 1976. And on the top um, left-hand corner, it's got the SBN number, which is 7235-0320-6. Okay, let's just have a very quick look at the spline. And there we go, it says the Doctor Who annual 1976 World Distributors. Tiny little bit of wear on the tips of the edges, but um, when you consider this is getting on for 40 years old, 50 years old, um, it's hardly surprising. It's 40, actually 48 years ago, that this 49 years ago in actual fact, that this um, annual was produced. Okay, let's open it up and what have we got inside? Okay, so first of all, we can see um, there is, has been a name wrote at the top. Um, but other than that, uh, we've also got the original price tag on the bottom there, which is one pound. Um, a lot of these get clipped off, which is why they're like this. So you, if you was giving this away as a gift, you would just clip off that um, section there or maybe get a rubber and rub it out. So artwork image, there's Tom Baker as the doctor and he's somewhere on some planet with a few people. And it says the Doctor Who annual 1976 contents, stories, uh, a new life. The Hospitality on Hankers, The Sinister Sponge, Avis There, The Mission, and you've got Picture Strips, which is The Psychic Jungle, Neuronic Nightmare, and the features Peculiar Plant Killers, Fit to Be an Astronaut, Great Jumping Jupiter, Puzzling Planets, Space Talk, Dress for the Job, Stories in the Stars, It's a Fact, The Plasmoid Jungle, Moonstruck, A Galaxy of Stars, Thanks for Space Research, Space Word, an ABC of space and it's got copyright MC uh, copyright MCM LXXXV which is 1975 by British Gold Parks and Company all rights reserved throughout the world published in Great Britain by World Distributors Manchester Limited uh, by arrangement with the BB British Broadcasting Company printed in Bound in England um, by Jared and Sung Limited Norwich, and again, there's the SPN number. There is a little mark there. I don't quite know what that is, but there's a little mark on the on that page there. Okay, over to the first page, and it's got a new life, and um, there's an image of the Brigadier, and let's just read the first paragraph. It says, but Dr. Sarah protested, we can't possibly just disappear into thin air. You know how annoyed the brigadier gets when he's expecting you to be on hand and then you go and do your vanishing stick trick well sarah the doctor sighed barely hiding a smile if it will make you happier i'll leave him a little note explaining everything when the brigadier arrived at the lab there wasn't any evidence that the doctor or his strange craft had ever been there except for the note okay so that's the start because so this was the very first uh, encounter of the fourth doctor uh, from the tv series and uh, this is that first story uh, and there we got i don't quite know what that is but it looks more like john pertwee than tom baker but anyway then it goes on to peculiar plant killers um and he, the venus fly trap is obviously uh, the one that everybody knows fit to be an astronaut uh, what else have we got? Great Jumping Jupiter. I suppose that's all about um, the planet Jupiter. Uh, closest approach and dangers and so on. And then we've got Puzzling Planets. Um, which uh, well, Basically, it's a quiz. Which planet is nearest to sun? Which planet is marked with, ca with canals? 
Which planet is named after the ancient Roman god of the ocean? Which planet has a reddish colour? Which planet has rings? Which planet has just one moon? Which planet is covered with clouds? Which planet has the most moons? There we go. Uh, the Hospitality on Hankus, which is the second Doctor Who story. Um, and this particular one, I think, is in monocolour. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's just uh, a full colour, full story, but in monocolour. And then we come to the first strip story, which is called The Psychic Jungle, and that is also in monocolour. I'm not going to read the stories because uh, it takes us too long to get through the um, annual. And then we go on to Space Talk. So Spacecraft Food, Destiny, dent Dentistry in Space, Fascinating Fireballs and Space Crockery. Uh, Dress for the Job, Short History of the Pressurised Space Suit. And then we've got Stories from the Stars, which is all based on the um, Zodiac signs. Uh, it's a fact, uh, fact information about space travel. Uh, the Sinister Sponge with Game, which is another full story featuring the Doctor um, with coloured um, illustrations. And then we get on to the game. So this is like a ball game. So you have your own... Um, uh, buttons and a dice and it says Doctor Who has become separated from the TARDIS on the plastoid planet Spectro 6 a strange unreal world where the fact and fantasy are one huge boulders suddenly materialise trees appear from nowhere solid matter dissolves before his startled eyes as reality shifts to illusion in seconds help him bypass the countless dangers of the plastoid jungle and reach the safety of the TARDIS a game for two or more players if a player lands on the arrow he must follow it and cannot turn back. Inside the maze of madness, players must not cross the coloured lines. Maze of madness. There we go. So it looks like you, chances are you will get inside the maze of madness at some point. Uh, okay. Uh, moving on, we've got another strip story, which is called Neuronic Nightmare, uh, which is a full strip story, and it's all in colour, this particular one. That's a very good picture of Tom Baker as the Doctor. Uh, and then Moonstruck, which is a, um, a, a again, another quiz. So it says, most people know by now that Neil Armstrong was the first man to step onto the moon's surface. But do you know what are the five phases of the moon? Where is the, the island of the moon? Uh, who were the moon's men? What is the cycle of the moon, which was discovered in the 5th century BC by... Meet on of Athens, who wrote the first men in the moon, who described the moon as a silver bow, new bent in heaven. What does a small rat smell of? Sorry, what does a moon rat smell of? <laughs> How would anyone know that? Uh, the moonstone in a variety of which gem. What is another name for the moon wort? Uh, which other planets besides Earth have a moon and how many moons have they? Check your answers on page 60. And there's another set of questions there as well, which is from a galaxy of stars. Um, Avast There, which is another story. Um, again, a full story, story with illustrations. Uh, and then we've got Thanks to Space Research. And then we've got the Space Crossword. Um, then the Mission, which again is another story um, with um, illustrations, full story with illustrations, uh, which I think is the last story in the book. And there's, the, there's all the answers to the questions. Uh, ABC of space. And that brings us to a close of the annual. That's the final page in the annual. So, annuals. Highly, very highly, highly popular uh, items in the, well, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, and to some extent, the 90s as well. Uh, obviously not as popular nowadays as what they used to be. Um, back in the day, certainly the, the 60s, 70s and 80s were big, big times for annuals um, because there was no such thing as video recorders, DVD players um, and uh, live streaming internet just wasn't around. Um, I don't think the video started to be released until the 90s um, when the vid video recorders became popular in pretty much every household. Uh, but that was, uh, and then the, the the they started to release the backlog catalog. So, but um, but prior to that, if you missed your 
do your Doctor Who television program, you had to wait for a rerun. And sometimes that could have been a year, could have been two years before they rerun them. Um, I can remember when we were very young, we went away on holiday and missed a couple of episodes um, when Pertwee was the Doctor. And when we come back, we had to wait, I think it was something like about 18 months or two years before they actually rerun that, um, those episodes that we missed. So there we go. If you didn't, if you missed them at the time, you missed them and you just had to wait. Um, but, you know, while you're waiting, you did have other things to be getting on with. So you had the annuals. Um, so there were stories in there like you've seen and activities and, and uh, fun facts. Uh, there's also other things like the colouring books activity books puzzle books and so on that were all released at the time and in the 70s in particular there was the all the dennis fisher doctor who figures um tardis play sets and so on that was released um of course you can go back in further that's the 60s where they released a whole range of daleks um, obviously daleks were very very popular um they actually made doctor who back in the um early 60s uh, they were part, well, mostly I think responsible for the success of Doctor Who, but um, but yeah. So anyway, I've digressed a bit. But back to the point is that the annuals were a very very big thing. Um, pretty pretty much every child that was a Doctor Who fan had one of these in their Christmas stocking um, on Christmas morning um, each year. Um, and this 1976 was no different on the late 75 actually was no different to any other year um the the annuals were incredibly popular so now finding them now we're talking um 48 years on currently 76 to or 49 years as they released in 75 to now which is 2024 finding them in a very good condition like this particular one in front of us is very difficult um don't get me wrong, you can pick these annuals up on the platforms. Uh, there is a lot of them around, um, not necessarily the earlier ones. There's a lot of later annuals around, and the current ones from the, the new series from 2004 on, there's loads and loads of those around. But the early ones um, from the original series are becoming more and more difficult to find, um, especially the ones prior to um, the 1980s. So they are getting harder and harder to find, especially in a very, very good condition. But as usual, we at Minus Touch have managed to find a few. And they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It will take you straight to the website where you'll be able to find this and many other vintage Doctor Who items and many other vintage toys, games and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that you won't want to miss this. Because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products, which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you're looking for, something old that you've never been able to find, something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend, or maybe just something from your childhood, that you like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.